Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Shelly. Welcome back to Whiskey and Sunshine Off Grid. That's us. So what do we got here today? We got a sinker chainsaw. We got this back in, I think, January. And I told her, you know, when are you going to, she said, when are you going to get the video out? Well, it's the middle of winter here, so who the heck knows? So here it is, almost the end of May, and... We're, we're doing it. We've we're got to do we've got to do a little bit of cleaning up around the house and around on the edge of the driveway. So yeah. we thought it'd be a perfect opportunity to take a small electric chainsaw out and see how it works and maybe compare it with the steel GTA 26 yeah. that we have, which obviously these are a knockoff of. Steel was the first one, but that doesn't mean these aren't good. Right. This could be a really worthwhile thing. So mm -hmm. we're going to test it out for you and... We'll see how it works. What do you do, got in there? We're gonna do a little unboxing for you here. So here's the box. unboxing or deboxing? Deboxing. I don't D-box? know. Debox. Debox. It's D it's, D it's box? official Unbox. unboxing. So we have uh, lovely directions here and uh, a uh, what is this? That is a charger. Charging cable. Wall charger. Wall charger. It plugs into the wall. To charge up your little battery here it's got a little plug in 20 volt it looks like 20 volt battery yeah that's actually really good yep yep we've got a the the actual tool itself the yeah chainsaw here you can handle that it's for got a, a nice little electric motor there gives you a lot of instructions things not to do yeah um you got a you know finger guard down here to keep your hand away from it and this chain guard up here should be hinged and it is. Mm. That lets you saw down through the wood as you as you go. Keeps you from getting your hand on the top of the uh, chain and getting cut. Mm -hmm. That's a good feature. Yeah. Looks like it's got a safety button for the throttle. So you have to have the safety button pushed. Yep. Um, anyway. And here's the yeah, battery. 20, we, got, we got some oil. 20 volt electric battery. For the chain and the bar. Very reminiscent of like a DeWalt style battery. And, uh, snaps right in there. Snaps right in. Wow. Ooh. Seems to have quite a bit of power. Yeah, it does. Um, and then we got a little screwdriver and a little, what is that, or like a wrench? Yeah, I would guess this is the uh, bar wrench. This is what loosens and tightens your bar up. And then you've got a Phillips, and everything else on here is Phillips, all yeah, your little Phillips. screws. So they actually gave you mm -hmm. a tool to tighten up all of your other stuff, which is good. Yeah. I think that's very good. So it's well thought out, you know, it's the, the tail is going to be, we're just going to have to try it Yeah. and see how it compares with the, with the steel. I wonder how long the battery will last. Yeah. Now these, the steel, it doesn't last long. This actually has that little small Pico or Pico chain on it that you sharpen with a little four millimeter file. If you choose to sharpen it, I'm guessing the chains are probably cheap enough. So if you don't want to sharpen them, you can just throw them away and buy another one. But, um... Don't tell anybody, but I'm kind of tight. I like to get the most out of my chains, so I'll be filing them for a long time. But I wouldn't think that you'd need to file them very often. They're going to get more wood dull than anything else because unlike a regular chainsaw, you're not going to be down on the ground. You're not going to get it in the dirt and the grit and all the stuff that usually prematurely dulls a saw. Right. So um, anyway, we're going to fire up the tractor, and we've got to go down and clean up some small storm damaged wood that is along the side of our driveway yeah we're gonna battle the ticks and battle the ticks because the chickens don't go down maybe we should take a chicken under each arm yeah they would be full by the time we got back here yeah. i was gonna go over some of these the uh, product selling points it's on the back of the box it's interesting rechargeable electric chainsaw we know this uh lightweight and portable mm. i'd say yes easy to carry absolutely yeah Quick and easy to assemble. Uh, you need one what? minute to install it all. Really? I think less than that. So wow. I would say with the battery on it, it weighs less than two pounds. Yeah, that's awesome. And then a strong dynamic system, just like us. Yeah, I like this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like the, I like the, uh, maybe not, <laughs> maybe not, <laughs> she thinks I didn't hear her. I heard her. Uh, I like the strap. I like the strap. I don't for somebody with a hands the size of mine, but you could probably put your hand through there and have it dangling right from your hand. Like a bracelet. Well, it's going to also help you hang on to it. Yeah, I don't know. 
I don't know if that'll work. My hands are big. I don't know. It did work. Yeah. Yeah. Just like that. And I like that it stands up. I do too. I do too. And that way you don't lose it in the in the pucker brush, as we call it. Yeah. And like like I said, I'm, I know it is a, a copy or a knockoff of the steel GTA 26, which we love, but. They're expensive, and also sometimes they're very hard to get. There are a long time you couldn't get any chains, uh, spare batteries, or anything for them because so many people bought them out. They were just gone. <laughs> they were very popular. Yep. On the other hand, you may be able to pick one of these up. I don't know. I'll have to. We'll have to uh, find have out to what the price up. is. I'll, I'll look it up on Amazon, and we'll link it down. Yeah, below we'll put it and... in, the, and we'll take a little bit of video of uh, of running it down the driveway and yeah. uh, see what we can. Clean up some brush with it, and that's what you're doing. You're dynamic. <laughs> so the first thing I noticed about the sacred chainsaw is that it's very easy to get it started straight out of the box. You have to charge your battery. It takes about two hours for the battery to charge from being completely dead. And you just pop that right in once it's done. The, there's a little green light on the plug-in that will turn on or will turn from red to green once it is ready to be used. Second thing that I noticed is that it's a very strong little motor. That chain is something else. When you put the oil on it and get it going on a piece of wood, it really goes quickly and just grabs right onto that wood and just goes right through it. It also is very, it's small and it's great for tight spaces. Here I'm showing you, I'm just doing, limbing a tree a little bit, trying to get some of these limbs out of here. Uh, it's lightweight, easy to hold. You can use it with one hand. And I just like that it's uh, compact so that you can just get right into those areas that you need to get into. Now these, the Saker, kits go for like the one that we have goes for around 70 dollars at lowe's home depot or on amazon it goes up from there depending on whether you want to buy another battery with it uh, if you buy the box to carry it things like that not too pricey which i thought was pretty nice the extra battery is about 30 dollars on amazon and an extra chain is about 23 24 dollars and like Scott said earlier, it might be best to get an extra one so that you don't have to sharpen it when you need to. Now I went through and cut a bunch of limbs and a bunch of trees that we had down and the battery was still going strong after probably, I'd say about 30 minutes of use, small limbs. Of course, the bigger the limbs, you can go up to four inches with this, it would, I think probably run the battery down a little bit quicker. My ending thoughts on this little Saker mini electric chainsaw is that I like it. I like it's light and it's easily maneuverable in the brush and it's not heavy. I like how it stands up on the battery so that you could see where you set it down. And I really like the, like the little chainsaw. I think I'm going to use it quite a bit around here. I have a little GTA 26 that I use a lot. Uh, so between the two of them, I should get a lot of limb work done around here. So I definitely would recommend it. I don't know how long the battery will last, but everything either runs out of gas or the battery runs low. So you can always charge it right back up. Check down in the description for a link to Amazon for this little chainsaw if you'd like to pick one up. Thanks for watching.